Sometimes life hurts. We suffer. We heal. We move on. But sometimes life hits back harder, lethal in its cruelty, shattering us into a million glittering shards of pain, loss, and anguish. And we suffer, too broken to heal, to become what we once were. So we learn to live with the shrouds of pain and loss and anguish forever embedded in our souls. And with shaking fingers, we piece together the bloody fragments of who we were into a mosaic, grotesque in its stark reality, exquisite in its sharp-edged story of the tragic, breathless beauty of a human who survived. And we move on. And we love. And we live. And we breathe. Ten facts about you. One, you're hearing this right now. Two, you're realizing that's pretty damn stupid. Four, you didn't notice I skipped three. <laughs> Five, you're checking now. Six, hopefully you're smiling. Seven, you're still listening to me ramble on. Isn't that stupid? <laughs> Nine, you didn't realize I skipped eight. <laughs> or maybe you did. Ha <laughs> ha, to me. Ten, you're checking again and hopefully still smiling. And maybe some of you fell for it again, just like me, every time being brain blown. Eleven, you're hopefully enjoying yourself right about now. Well, at least I am. Twelve, you didn't realize there's only supposed to be ten facts. <laughs> now must eight. And does anyone else realize how fun sock sliding is? Come join me. <laughs> slide, slide, slide. Now must eight, guys. Have an awesome day. We often think of peace as the absence of war. That if powerful countries would reduce their weapons, we could have peace. But if we look deeply into the weapons, we see our own minds, our own fears, prejudices and ignorance. Even if we transport all the bombs to the moon, the roots of the war and the roots of the bombs are still there in our hearts and minds, and sooner or later, we will make new bombs. To work for peace is to uproot war from ourselves, and from the hearts of men and women. To prepare for war is to plant millions of seeds of violence, anger, frustration and fear that will be passed on for generations to come. If we want to stop the wars in the world, we have to stop the wars within ourselves. We have to start by finding peace, love, acceptance and compassion all within our own wars, within our minds, within ourselves.